Okay, I'd like to introduce the classroom PowerPoint game called Game Show. So this is a PowerPoint file and it does have macros. So when you first open the file, you might get a security warning. Just make sure that you click yes to enable the content. All right, so on the first slide here, here are the steps to use the game template. Then if you scroll down, there are various tips down here for you to also look at. So on slides one and two, you can enter some text here. Uh, here you can put your welcome introduction type text. On slide number three, this is the main game board. So you can see here for category one, I've typed in products and then services. You know, you can type in other things for categories three, four, and five. And then your dollar amounts here, you can see I changed this one. Instead of 400, I put in 600. And then I changed this one to be 1,000. So you can change any of these to anything that you'd like to. On the next slide, this is where you put the question for the category called products for the $100 question. So what is one plus one? And then on the next slide, that's the answer. So you go ahead and go and fill out all these slides with your questions and answers. And then at the very end, the last two slides, these are the final challenge slides. So go ahead and put in your question there and then drop in your answer. All right, so let me preview this game, show you how it works. So what you do is you put this PowerPoint file on the laptop or on your your computer is projecting in the classroom. And when the class is ready, you click slideshow. And here's your welcome text. You can choose to have it uh, choose a team randomly. I'll leave that checked. Let me click start. Okay, between two to four teams can play. I'll choose two teams. The name of team one will be Andrew. And then team two will be Sean. Okay, so it chose Sean to go first. So if I go to products for 100, what is 1 plus 1? You see the timer down here that's going. Now when they're ready, you click continue. And then if team 1 or if team Sean got it correct, you can click correct. If they got it incorrect, click incorrect. So let's say correct. You can see that Sean got $100. Now you can see down here, Andrew, it's your turn. All right, so I'm going to choose 1,000. It says, why is the sky blue? Um... Let's see here. My guess is because it was made that way. So when I click continue, because it was made that way. Hey, I got it right. So I click correct. All right, so you can see those keep going away, and our score keeps adding up. Now when you're done, click final challenge. You have to place your wagers. So Andrew's going to wager all of it. Sean's going to wager all of his also. All right, I have one minute to answer this question. All right, so here's the question. Up here, you'll see a timer going. Now, when all the teams have uh, said that they're ready with their final answer, you go see answer. And there's their answer. And you can say, hey, did Andrew get it right? Of course he did. And did Sean get it right? No, he missed it. So it says, Team Andrew, you're the winner. And it just shows who's the winner. All right, so as you can see with this game, you are getting the actual PowerPoint file. So if you come in here and you go view, go to Slide Master, you have access to everything in here. So you can come in here to the different style and you can, if you'd like to, you can change that gradient color to a different color. You can come in here and change some of the different slide layouts. You can also go back to normal view here. Let's say you don't want this many options. It's as easy as going in here and just deleting out different sections. So if you only want, you know, maybe three of those questions up there, let's just delete those. We'll delete those and then you can take these, maybe make them a little bit bigger. And this doesn't actually break anything, so you can come in here and say, I'd like those a little bit bigger. Maybe move them down, kind of correct the, the uh, spacing there. Yeah, I think we've got it about right here. All right, so now you have a game that's uh, got less questions there. Now make sure, now you notice you lost the $400 and the $500 questions. When you come down to those slides here, let's see, there's the, uh, where was it here? So here's the $400 and the $500 questions. Do not delete those slides. If you need to, you can just right click and choose hide, but don't delete those. And one other thing too, when you're filling out your questions and answers, you'll notice that the category is getting pulled through there automatically. So if I go down here to category three, we haven't actually changed that yet, but once I give category three a name, that will automatically update here. So don't change that text either. All right, so that's the game show PowerPoint.